Hi, my name is Andy Petro. I want to talk to you today about an experience that I had a few days before graduation. We went to a senior class picnic just prior to graduation and in that picnic event, during that picnic event, I was swimming out to a raft by myself, got cramps, I drowned, I died, I went into the light, and then I came back again. What I'd like to describe to you is the process of dying. First of all, the drowning process was not a fun process. It was horrible, it was painful. I was stuck at the bottom of the lake. I had aches and pains in every cell of my body. I didn't know what else to do. I was screaming internally for one breath of air. All I wanted was one breath of air, but I couldn't get it. And then a voice inside of my head said to me, Andy, called me Andy, it said, Andy, uh, you need a rest just for a moment. And I said to the voice, no, I don't think I want to rest. I have to get up for the air. And in trying to get up, I found that I was stuck in the mud. My hands were stuck in the mud. I couldn't pull them out, and I'm imprisoned. And then the voice said to me again, Andy, you can continue the struggle, but you want to rest for just one moment. And so I said to the voice, okay, all right, I'll give it a rest for just a minute, and then I'm going to continue. I'll let go. And as soon as the word go formed in my mind, I was pulled out of my body. And all of a sudden, I looked down, and I could see my body stuck in the mud. But I'm in a body. I can feel it. No longer am I cold and freezing and stuck in the mud, but I'm warm, and I'm filled with a love and a peace that I cannot explain. So in less than a microsecond, from freezing, cold, horrible pain, I was filled with love and peace and happiness and smiles. And as I looked opposite from my body, looked up into the tunnel, there I saw light. The light was so bright that it was brighter than 10,000 suns. And I immediately said, this should be burning my retinas. But it wasn't. It was a gentle but powerful light. It was pulling me, it was pulling me like a gentle magnet, closer and closer. And the closer I got, the more I was filled with an ecstasy, with a love, with an unconditional love of me as Andy. And as I got closer to the light, all of a sudden, I popped into a giant sphere. It was, it was about the size of a, of a basketball coliseum. And I was suspended in the middle of this sphere. And all around me, at all parts of the sphere, up, down, sideways, left, right, all over, were, were miniature motion pictures of my lives and what was going on. And I could see, I could touch, I could feel, I could sense every emotion that was taking place in all of those lifetimes. And when I would concentrate on one, I would immediately be there. I would be reliving what I had lived. And I would remember the reliving. And then I would think about another area, and then I'd pop into another movie. And I would do this for some period of time, but you have to understand that when you're in the eternal now, time doesn't make any sense. So it isn't time like yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It's happening all at a time, all at once. And I was there for an extended period using earth terms. And then, all of a sudden, I popped out of the sphere, and now I'm in front of the light. And the light is so warm and so glowing and so forgiving. And the light had no, no judgment. There was no condemnation. There was no blaming, no shame. There was nothing but love and acceptance. And the light was viewing me. The light knew everything that I ever thought, did, or will do. It knew everything. And the light welcomed me. And the light said, Andy, don't be afraid. And I was impressed. I mean, the light knew me and called me by my name, called me Andy. Oh, that was pretty good. And then the light said, Andy, I love you. And then the light said, Andy, we love you. Now when the light said, Andy, we love you, I looked in back of the light, and the light was, was a huge, giant form 
that I've never seen on earth and that I cannot describe, but I recognize it, and I can see it right now in my mind's eye. And as the light said to me, Andy, we love you, in back of the light were billions and billions and billions of other lights. And all of them knew me. And they all said in a giant chorus, Welcome home, Andy. And I said out loud, I'm home. At last I'm home. And the light welcomed me. The light absorbed me into the light. So I was part of the light. And once I was in the light, I knew everything the light knew. I knew all about the universe. I knew everything about flowers, about plants, about asteroids, about suns, about novas, everything. I didn't have a question for the light. Why? Because I knew all the answers. I had nothing to ask. And we laughed and we played. And by the way, the light, the light has, has a fantastic sense of humor. We would view some of the really silly things that I did in my lifetime and we'd, and we'd be laughing at how serious I took them. Because life down here is an illusion. It's a game. Don't take it so serious. The life has a wonderful sense of humor. And we're laughing and we're talking and we're just having a great time. And then the light says to me, Andy, you have to go back. Now, I, I'm not going back. I said to the light, I don't think so. I'm home. I'm staying. And then the light said to me for the second time, Andy, you're going back. And I said, no, you don't understand. I don't want to go back into that body. I don't want to go back on earth. I'm home here in the light. And then the light said for the third time, Andy, you're going back. And as soon as I heard the K from the back, I was pushed back into my body, filled with pain and anxiety, and during all of that process, I was, they were, I was now on the beach, and they were, my friends were pushing the water out of my lungs, and I was coughing the water out, and I was completely conscious. And I was crying. And all of my classmates thought I was crying from the pain of drowning. But I was crying because I was no longer in the light. I was back in my body. I was back on earth. I wanted to be in the light. During this entire episode, from the moment I start sinking into the water and the mud, up until the moment I was coughing water out of my lungs on the beach, I never lost consciousness. I was aware of every microsecond of that time. Being in the light was being in unconditional love. Unconditional love means unconditional forgiveness. Unconditional forgiveness causes you to smile forever. That's the story, folks. That's what it feels like to die and come back again. Thanks for listening.